Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Officials will hold a fact-finding review today in the death of Jorge Gomez. He was shot and killed by Las Vegas police officers in June at a conclusion of a Black Lives Matter rally. And family members have been calling for charges against the four officers who fired on Gomez that night outside of a federal courthouse in downtown Las Vegas. The review is scheduled to start at 8 a.m. at the Clark County Government Center, and we will have complete coverage online at LVRJ.com. A Rhode Island man is accused of fraud linked to the Magic Mike live show. Now, according to police, the man sought investments for a company that he falsely claimed owned shares of Magic Mike live. He also allegedly withdrew more than a million dollars of his victim's money at casinos across the country. Magic Mike Live is now being staged at the Sahara Las Vegas. Its executive producer said no one involved in the show has anything to do with the fraud. Prosecutors are trying to carry out Nevada's first execution in 15 years, but defense attorneys want them removed from the case. Zane Floyd was convicted of killing four people at a grocery store in 1999. This week, prosecutors requested a warrant for his execution. But federal public defenders say two of the prosecutors face a conflict of interest since they are serving as state senators while the legislature is considering whether to abolish the death penalty. Well, if you've ever wondered how Raiders head coach John Gruden picked up the nickname Chucky, well, a new commercial offers that clue. The ad for Skechers shows Gruden turning his famously intense personality on things like batteries and plants until his face starts to resemble the horror movie character Chucky. Vegas Nation certainly knows what that looks like. In a second commercial for Skechers, the head coach compares wearing uncomfortable shoes to putting an offensive line on a trampoline. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, Red Rock's 15th birthday is this Sunday, and they'll soon hold a month of anniversary promotions to celebrate this milestone. Review Journal's Jen Ah tells us what that is. Good morning, Jen. Good morning to you, Renee. While we wait for that announcement, here's a list of 15 things to do there for you. There's the beautiful Hotel Lobby Lounge featuring a bar and crystal chandelier. We already feature the pop-up bar, Crimson in Bloom, with its champagne vending machine. There's the Red Rock Bingo Room, Ben & Jerry Scoop Shop offering ice cream flavors not available at grocery stores. Red Rock Lanes offers bowling, electronic darts, and two pool tables. Man, I had a lot of fun. Um, we shot a little bit of eight ball in the bowling alley. So there's just a lot going on at Red Rock, and it was a lot of fun walking around and discovering it. Also, a poker room, a pool with this mega Sunday on the menu, numerous restaurants with outdoor seating, a luxurious spa, a sports bar with flights of beer. The sports books are already taking bets for this year's World Series, an arcade room, plus a bake shop, and finally, the hotel rooms, of course. Renee, I think I've just listed 15 things. I think you did. Thanks, Jen. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. We finally made it to Friday, everyone, and we'll get sunny skies that are forecasted for today with highs near 78 degrees. No high winds to speak of for today for your evenings, lows in the upper 50s. Now for the weekend, breezy conditions will pick back up starting Saturday. Temps staying in the upper 70s, high 80s. Winds could reach about 35 miles per hour by Sunday, so keep a lookout for that. Temperatures in the mid 80s by next week. Hey everyone on YouTube, look, thank you for telling your family and neighbors about 7 at 7 on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and drop us a like down below. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, a request for sports betting companies, don't market your offerings to the young or those with gambling problems. That request comes from a report released Thursday by UNLV's International Gaming Institute. The Institute's general director says a renewed commitment to wellness is vital as mobile sports wagering increases across the country. The report also has a request for those working in news media. Don't cite offshore gambling sites in your stories without identifying them as illegal. Our ongoing coverage of companies that are hiring takes us to the Las Vegas Strip. Circus Circus Las Vegas is looking to fill over 100 seasonal jobs at Adventure Dome, the Midway and Splash Zone. Now, if you'd like to apply, Circus Circus will host a job fair Friday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. 
Applicants are asked to bring ID and anyone who accepts a position will be required to take a COVID-19 test. Sports, sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. The Las Vegas Aces selected French center and two-time reigning EuroLeague Young Player of the Year, Ileana Rupert, with the number 12 overall pick in the WNBA draft Thursday. Moments later, the team selected Arkansas senior point guard Destiny Slocum with the number 14 overall pick. Then Las Vegas concluded the draft by using the 36th and final pick to select Towson senior guard Kiana Jeter. When talking about the new additions to the roster, Aces head coach Bill Lambeer said, quote, We're adding pieces now. They're complementary pieces. Lambeer also added that his team is positioned not only for the near term, but for the long term. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights are minus 240 favorites tonight over the Anaheim Ducks as Vegas goes for its fifth straight win. The Ducks are plus 210 at the Westgate. The total is five and a half. The Knights are plus 110 to cover the minus one and a half puck line. The Knights rolled to a 6-2 victory over the Los Angeles Kings on Wednesday as minus 210 favorites. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. Las Vegas police are reporting an alarming rise in fentanyl-related deaths. From 2019 to 2020, there was a 196% increase. And the newly created overdose response team, made up of federal and local prosecutors, law enforcement, the Clark County Coroner's Office, and others, are trying to raise awareness of this issue, reminding people to not take drugs unless they are prescribed. Often, fentanyl is disguised as a prescription pill. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, Henderson may no longer be the wild frontier, but you can still find cowboy poetry there. Poet Wadi Mitchell will tell some tall tales and classic stories Saturday as part of the city's April is for the Arts program. His show starts Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Water Street Plaza Amphitheater. Advanced registration is recommended, and you can do that by visiting thecityofhenderson.com. Well, that'll do it for today's 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. Remember, the Las Vegas Review Journal brings you 7 at 7 weekdays at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on LVRJ.com. You can also download our free RJ mobile app to get news alerts sent straight to your phone, and you can find us on Roku, Alexa, and more. We hope you'll join us again this evening for 7 at 7 p.m. Happy Friday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.